Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to answer some questions from audience who have given comments or questions in our video. Previously, thank you very much for all audience or viewers who have watched our videos and always support to FN Engineering channel. I hope this channel will always give benefits and new experience for many engineers or others. Alright, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing to FN Engineering channel and turn on the bell for the notification. Alright, here are the summary questions we have received by us. There are some questions for intense cell thickness calculation under external pressure, head thickness calculation under external pressure, flat head thickness calculation under external pressure, then real pressure calculation, maximum lower working pressure or MAWP calculation, minimum resistance metal temperature or MGMT calculation, moreover, non-standard or good strength calculation, 3D half coupling calculation, corrosion relevant reference. Next, ebook recommendation for designing tank or vessels. Determine finish thickness. Vessel vessel design refer to division two. Vessel vessel design using software such as Revealit, Ansys, or others. And finally, a spreadsheet file from FN Engineering based on our video. Alright, in this video, we will answer or respond to only some questions. For other questions, we will reply in the next video, insyaAllah. Next, here is the first question which will be replied regarding corrosion allowance reference. There are some examples from the standard to define the value of corrosion allowance. Here are the example standards. First, in the SME section 8 division 1, especially in the appendix E, there is suggestion for good practice regarding corrosion allowance. Next is in TMA, TMA standard at paragraph RCB 1.5 regarding standard corrosion allowance. We have also explained in the video cell thickness calculation part 2 then API 661 in paragraph 7.1 and 5 and API 650 in the paragraph 532 about corrosion allowance the last example is in API 581 in appendix G to estimate the corrosion allowance rate based on the some parameters including fluid, temperature, and others. I hope this explanation can help to answer the question. Go to the next question. The next question is how to determine finish thickness. This question has also explained in the cell thickness calculation part 2, but we try to repeat the explanation. In general, there are three common types of material regularly used, such as plate, pipes, and tubes. Each material has a mill under tolerance. For plates, plates under tolerance are smaller of 0.3 mm or 6% of the nominal thickness. For detail, you can see in paragraph UG16C. Then, if there is a forming process in the plate, we have to consider forming tolerance. In my experience, for example, forming tolerance for the foam head has a reduction thickness a maximum up to 10% of the nominal thickness. So, the finished thickness can be obtained from the nominal thickness minus forming tolerance and minus plate under tolerance. As a study case, 
The head form with a nominal thickness of 10 mm, but this is the finish thickness of this form head. The finish thickness will be 8.7 mm. Meanwhile, for the pipe or tubes material, have mill under tolerance commonly 12.5% of the nominal thickness. You can see for each material in the SME section 2A for the ferrous material or section 2B for the non-ferrous material. So, the finish thickness can be occurred from the nominal thickness minus mill under tolerance. For example, we have a pipe with a 9.5 mm nominal thickness. The finish thickness is 9.5 multiplied by 0.875 to be 8.3 mm. Alright, I hope our explanation will make it easier. Now, go to the other question regarding hook recommendation for designing tanks or vessels. There are many standards or books that contain the design of pressure vessel or tanks. In this video, we only give some example. The first is a book from the international standard. There is SME section 8 about rule for construction of pressure vessels. API 620 about design and construction of large welded low pressure storage tanks. API 650 about weather steel tanks for oil storage. API 653 for tank, tank inspection, repair, alteration, and reconstruction. And the last example. API 510 for pressure vessel inspection code in service, writing, repair, and alteration. Then, there are some handbooks such as the pressure vessel handbook by Eugene if Negusi and the pressure vessel design manual by Dennis Moss. If you have other books or standards, Please tell the book or standard in the comment. Thank you. Next, go to the other question regarding the split sheet file from FN Engineering. In the previous video, I have made some calculations such as cell thickness calculation, form head calculation, thread head thickness calculation, nozzle thickness calculation and reinforcement nozzle calculation. I have sent the explicit file to some emails. If you don't receive the email and you want to a uh, specific file, you can go to the link at bit.ly slash fn engineering file. I have written the link in the description. You can receive the instruction from the download and open the document. Alright, we have explained four of all questions. The other question will be answered and discussed in the video, inshallah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestions, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.